It's Valentine's Day, which means if you're like us, you have no idea what you're doing. That's why we're making this video to save you with 10 date ideas for the best spots to go out in LA. All right, so this is normally a travel channel, but for this video, we're gonna show you some spots that we like to go out in our hometown. Um, they are good for Valentine's Day, the good date spots any day of the year, or if you're just visiting, consider these to be good local spots to spend an evening. Let's get started. Santa Monica is a super iconic place. It's known all around the world, and the pier is usually where people go. Do not do that, okay? Head instead to the Casa del Mar Hotel. It's got great vibes, live music, and good cocktails. So for dinner ideas, head to Tar and Roses. If you want something a little bit more upscale, check out Misfit. And if you want down to earth and absolutely awesome, Cha Cha Chicken. It's a Caribbean restaurant, it's BYOB, and they're playing reggae music with jerk chicken. It's legit. All right, number two is the Lighthouse Cafe in Hermosa Beach. This is inspired by the movie La La Land. It's the main character Sebastian's favorite hangout spot. It's a jazz bar, it does exist. It's a place to go if you're both old souls. It's been a jazz club since the days of Jack Kerouac and the Beat Generation. And it's a really cool spot to watch the sunset, like right on the pier. For dinner, there's Hook and Plow Gastro Pub, which is right around the corner from the jazz club. So it's a nice little compact night. Clubs and pubs. Yeah, and jazz all night long. Next up, make sure that you subscribe to Vaga Brothers. We make videos every week, and you should turn on notifications if you're already subscribed. Sato, if you and your significant other are both foodies, this is the spot to go. Little Osaka, it's a stretch, about a block or two, that is full of amazing Japanese restaurants. We recommend Sujita Ramen House. So good. Honestly has one of the best ramens in the world and definitely one of the best ramens here in Los Angeles. After ramen, grab some boba. And then there's blockheads around the corner as well, which is like that shaved ice cream. And if you're not feeling ramen, there's actually a, my original date spot from UCLA was the, the, the sushi place with the conveyor belt. It was like $2.50 for a plate of sushi back in the day and it was edible. I'm not sure how much it costs now, but it's still a good spot. Jesus, that is the worst date ever. No, day. it's great, dude. When you're hey, in college, babe, it's only two fifty for an all-you-can-eat sushi buffet. No, if it's like sashimi, there's two pieces. If it's like California roll, you get six, but it's all the same price, and it's it's pretty easy on the wallet for the cheapskates out there. All right, next up we have LACMA. This is the cultured option if you want to go to a museum. LACMA always has great exhibitions. It does close early though, so check the times. Sometimes like 7 uh, or even 5 p.m. I believe. Uh, but if it is closed, there are the big light sculptures so you can take a selfie together, which is super original. So original. So original. And then you can uh, head down the street to Little Ethiopia for dinner. Ethiopian food's great because it's cheap and it's also a litmus test for most dates if you're early in a relationship. If your date cannot handle eating with their hands, I know personally that is my way of, of knowing whether a girl is compatible with me. Remember to wash your hands both before and after Ethiopian food. You eat with your hands and there are lots of peppers, so wash your hands especially afterwards. And if you're gonna get romantic, wash them twice. Yep. Don't want that hot spices mm -hmm. doing unintended in there. consequences. No, no. 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 Uh -huh. Next up is the Art District. If you like your art a little bit more edgy, head to the Art District in downtown. There's a ton of galleries. There's street art everywhere. Get started at House of Earth in Schimmel. I know it sounds like it's in Berlin, but it isn't. Next, sample some beer at the Arts District Brewing Company and grab dinner at the Factory Kitchen, which is an Italian restaurant in an old factory building. All right, next up is West Hollywood. Uh, the Laugh Factory on Sunset Boulevard is a great place to date. I've done this many times. Uh, it's 17 bucks to get in. It's a two drink minimum. So you come away for like 30 bucks a person, maybe a bit more. Just do not sit in the front row. Let me repeat, do not, do not. sit in the front row because they make fun of you and your date and they ask her, they're always like, what is this loser doing with you? And then she starts to think about it, really. Like, yeah. what am I doing with him? I know. Honestly. Ah, it's bad. There's shows at 8 o'clock. I know there's shows like 10, I think, and also midnight. So you can catch dinner beforehand. Go to Fig and Olive or maybe the Mexican vegan eatery, Gracias Madre. Gracias Madre. Gracias Madre. Vamos. Now, this one is so close and personal to me. I'm kicking myself for telling you. If you're going to be in Malibu, Head to Malibu Farms. It's this beautiful little restaurant on the end of the pier at Malibu. Carrie and I go there all the time. 
And if you really want to treat somebody, head up the coast on the PCH to Joffrey's. They do an amazing brunch and dinner. It's a beautiful restaurant overlooking the ocean. And I'm sorry, Carrie, for giving away our best spots. All right, so for our neighborhood, Venice Beach, we recommend a classic and trendy combination here, which is going to the canals, obviously, classic spot. Very romantic. Very romantic, especially like if you go here in uh, like December when they have all the holiday lights out. After you do the walk along the canals, you can go over to Abbot Kinney. Uh, the, the, the most popular spot is Jelena's. It's always got a line. I mean, you can brave that line if you want to, but you need to make reservations like two weeks in advance. So if you put your name down, go down the street to the brig, get a couple cocktails, and wait for your name to get called, they'll text you. Otherwise, you can go to other spots like uh, Butcher's Daughter. And then of course for dessert, you got Salt and Straw, best ice cream in Los Angeles. It's right there on the corner of California and Abikini. And last but not least, Silver Lake, East LA's coolest neighborhood. First and foremost, grab a cocktail at Bar Stella. You can eat there, but the cocktails are really where it's at. Um, it can get crowded, so be prepared to kind of nudge your way up to the bar, but definitely worth it. They have an amazing mezcal cocktail that will burn your mouth. And your soul. There's a ton of food options. They have Berlin currywurst, which is great for, you know, on the cheaper side. Um, if you want some sit down, there's Silver Lake Ramen. It's not as good as Sujita, in my opinion, but it's still really good, trendy spot. And wrap it all up by driving up to Griffith Park Observatory, where you get one of the best views of the city and uh, get a little bit of romantic stuff going on up there. Made famous by Rebel Without a Cause and James Dean way back in the day. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, share with your other friends who are looking for some inspiration and just, you know, tell your girlfriend that it was your idea. We'll give you all the credit, okay? And if you enjoyed this, stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you guys on the road. Peace.